Okay, let's start. Yep. Hi everyone, I'm Viola from Wikimedia Armenia. Today our topic is teaching Wikipedia in Armenia. Watching this video, you will get acquainted with the programs and events organized by Wikimedia Armenia in order to promote Wikipedia, to spread free knowledge, and to enlarge our um, community with new members. So as a preface of our topic, uh, I will uh, give you an idea about our Wikipedia trainings, uh, the aim and goals. Um, here we'll speak about our beneficiaries and I will also speak about teachers, the importance of teachers in our community and schools. Uh, our tour's topics are uh, Wiki Club coordinators meetings, Saturday workshops, and Wikipedia courses for linguists. Uh, and David will speak about one of our projects, uh, Financial Economic Wiki Mom and Wikipedia courses. And Marie will give you teaching Wikipedia analysis. We also haven't forget about COVID-19 and the ways we organize of programs uh, during this pandemic and I will also as a summary I will also present you uh, this topic so let's start teaching Wikipedia in Armenia really you mean I can be a Wikipedia editor wow getting more information or sharing my knowledge sounds great the reaction of most of the Wikipedia training participants was something like this when reading the announcement of Wikipedia training course. Their next step was registration. For several years, Wikimedia Armenia has been organizing Wikipedia trainings for those who wanted to join our community to learn editing, to share their knowledge. Wikipedia training is an educational program that aims at preparing future active editors of different professions, mainly teachers, who will develop topics on Wikipedia while gaining additional knowledge and skills. There is a saying, teaching without having a clear plan is like trying to fill a broken pot. Wikimedia Armenia has this plan. We organize our Wikipedia trainings at least twice a year. The Wikipedia training consists of two stages training and editing. During the first stage, the participants are divided into groups. Each group has a trainer. Only experienced editors become our trainers. During the first stage, the participants learn editing with the help of their trainers. During the second stage, which is called editing stage, the participants must edit themselves, sometimes, if needed, asking questions and meeting their trainers. Organizing Wikipedia trainings, we have two main goals. Developing Wikipedia by enriching the community with new and professional editors and spreading an innovative way of learning, teaching and self-development at educational institutions like schools, universities and for individuals. Besides all mentioned above, the trainings have a positive impact on the structure of Wikipedia and our work. These trainings help us discover the gaps concerning Wikipedia itself, the way we organize our events, especially Wikipedia trainings. Since the very first training, many tools have been created and developed. Some examples? Let's go. The first tool I want to introduce is called CutSuggest. CutSuggest is a tool making it much easier to find and add categories. This tool is special for the Wikipedia training participants who had always forgotten or had some difficulties to add categories till the creation of this tool. The next one. It was always a problem for the Wikipedia training participants to add the special template on the top page of the article showing that the article was translated. A new tool was created, so you need only to click once and the template will appear itself on the top page of your article. Uh, besides, some pages for help have been created, including videos in, in our YouTube channel, so participants read and watch, ask their questions, 
Examples like this are much more. But now let's speak about participation. Wikipedia is everywhere, at school, at home, university, workplace. Wikipedia is read by everyone, teachers, students, mathematics, everyone. Once or twice a week, one always deals with Wikipedia. And in every group of these readers, there is always one or even two who ask these questions. Can I improve an article or create one? And how can I do it? Especially teachers notice these mistakes in Wikipedia because some of their students use it for finding information, for example, for their home task. These are some of the top reasons and ways that we people find us, registrate and participate in our Wikipedia trainings, becoming part of our huge Wiki community. Besides, participants follow us on Facebook, share our posts, Learn our, about our training courses uh, from their relatives and friends, and finally, they spread it themselves. They are the beneficiaries. Meher Bekayan will speak about the first beneficiaries of Wikimedia Armenia training courses. Hello, everyone. While planning the Wikimedia Armenia educational project, we had a problem. We decided who our beneficiaries should be and whose support and assistance we can count on. Three organizations promoting media literacy and information technologies became our supporters Instigate, Gaza, and the network of info houses in Armenia. Initially, with the help of this organization, Wikimedia Armenia started holding Wikipedia editing courses at the office or, or in the administrative areas of these organizations. Once a week in Yerevan or other regions of Armenia up in the limit. The first courses were attended by people with prior knowledge about Wikimedia and those who tried to edit or were beneficiaries of the world mentioned organizations. Since 2014, Teachers have appeared on the horizon of the organization as beneficiaries who are vital, link as people who possess and transfer knowledge. This gave us food for thought and we decided to organize Wikipedia training courses for teachers and to encourage their further activities in school as Wikipedia advocates. The first great experience of introducing teachers to Wikipedia literacy was to teach the wiki editing basic to many teachers in Yerevan under the SAID Internet Armenia program. 300 teachers from 150 schools in Yerevan participated in the program, even though most of them did not stay in wiki project as editors. Surely some of them started using Wikipedia and many of their students joined the wiki movement afterward. The experience of these training courses has shown that holding classes for just several hours in schools or other organizations is often not quite effective. And the idea to organize courses for a few days a week away from the city in the private environment again coordinated. We start conducting the courses mainly during school breaks, along with Wikipedia training for teachers in Armenia. We started so to organize special training courses for Armenian diaspora teachers from different countries. Teachers and schools. When announcing Wikipedia training, we always mention that the participation of teachers is encouraged and important, and the course is special for them, so everyone can participate. But why teachers? Teachers are arguably the most important members of Wiki community, and this fact has its two main reasons. Teachers are both pedagogues and masters in some subjects and sciences. They are the ones who must be responsible for the quality of the content their students read and learn. They are the ones who had always complained about the mistakes, quality of the content, missing topics in Wikipedia, until they joined the community and find the reasons of this bad content, missing articles, etc. Some of the reasons are the small number of specialists in some fields, language problem, etc. Now, geographical topics are entrusted to geography teacher, language teachers help in translation from other Wikipedias, medical topics, oh no, this is another story. Here, only teachers can hardly help. 
The second reason, teachers are the leaders of the huge army called students. There is a saying in Armenia, teachers are our second mom. You think their only responsibility is to teach, right? Imagine, the teachers do their work, read the lecture, write and check the tests for several years without any additional uh, skills, knowledge, without developing their skills, and always with the same knowledge and methods. The day will come and they will realize that nobody listens to them. The system is dying down, and finally today, our generation, the generation Z, they need more, they demand more in order to learn, to understand, to be motivated, and to be involved in the process of studying. So, innovative methods of teaching have to be employed in the classroom to ensure that the efforts that teachers put in don't go in vain. And teachers must always be on their way of learning, developing, developing their skills, finding more creative ways, methods of teaching. So, why to have our contribution in this process? As I know, Wikimedia has all the requirements. So, teachers now learn and teach with Wikipedia. They use Wikipedia in their daily class routine. Imagine, biology class, the topic is fishes. One of the homeworks the students must do is to read and develop or to create article on this topic. Finding good sources, reading, and developing existing articles helps them to change the method of learning, which makes them more motivated. And while learning and doing their homework, they develop Wikipedia. The more topics are developed on Wikipedia, the more skills and knowledge the teachers get. The more skills and knowledge the teachers have, the more organized, motivated, and effective the class is. And uh, this system develops professional and important topics in Wikipedia. Now, let's speak about some additional uh, skills that teachers developed uh, during um, these trainings and um, with Wikipedia in general. The first one is uh, technology skills. Uh, editing Wikipedia, as we all know, editing Wikipedia demands some computer skills, a little understanding of codes and maybe not, uh, standard tools and so on. It develops the flexibility, the speed of our work, for example, how we Google search, how we type, in general, how we use computer. In addition, most of the articles demand uh, media files, videos, photos, um, etc., to highlight important parts of the topic. And teachers use this fact, they learn how to take good photos. Now you might think, uh, what photography has uh, to do with the teacher's job? <laughs> do you think, uh, for example, they will take the photos of their students every day before the class? And, um, for example, they will um, attach that uh, photos uh, on the classbook uh, as a fact that um, the students are present. But in reality, it's an additional skill that students need to use for various tasks. For example, preparing presentations, slides about their village, uh, culture, region, monuments. Uh, for example, uh, a presentation about an animal, dogs um, during the biology class. And uh, the most impo important fact is that they will use their own works that not copy from different pages. And another important fact is that both teachers and their students will know, will get acquainted what it to say, copyright and plagiarism. Uh, other additional skills, um, writing skills, style um, and uh, finding using good article and um, good so sorry good sources and um, reading only from good and reliable sources 
And uh, uh, as I have already mentioned, Wikipedia is everywhere, and schools are not exception. The result of this system that I have introduced, uh, the result of this system was the increase of wiki clubs. About the wiki clubs, we will speak, Arthur. Hi, I will present wiki club meetings. Saturday workshops and wiki club courses for linguists. I will start with wiki clubs. Wikimedia Armenia has wiki clubs in different regions of Armenia, where anyone can visit to learn how to work on wiki projects and join the club as a member. The clubs have permanent active members whose work, along with newcomers, is coordinated by wiki clubs coordinators. Given this fact, it's always necessary to organize training courses with wiki club coordinators, during which they have a chance to review their knowledge, to learn to work with new tools, and we have the chance to summarize the work done by the wiki clubs, to try and find the best way to make the work more effective, interesting, and educational. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, wiki club meetings were held offline. The last such meeting took place in January 2020. The meeting consisted of two parts. In the first part, each club coordinator presented their club and the work done in the wiki club. The club coordinator presented in detail the work with the newcomers, how they teach to edit, as well as the work with experienced editors, regular trainings and events. The first part was summarized by Wikimedia Armenia through the presentation of statistical data, during which each of the club coordinators is presented with the annual summary results of the wiki clubs. The statistical data shows what is going well and what can be improved. The second part of meetings is a kind of teaching Wikipedia workshops during which the wiki club coordinators who were certified as wiki trainers conduct a Wikipedia course and try to depend the participants' knowledge on various wiki platforms. Such workshop courses were planned to be continued, but because of the pandemic, they were conducted online. After the special meetings were held with the participants of each wiki club, at the same time, the club coordinators as well as club members, participate in various projects organized by Wikimedia Armenia, trying to improve their knowledge. Saturday workshops. Since April 2020, Saturday workshops have been organized online every Saturday. They consist of two parts. The first part was experienced editors. One topic was prepared for the participants each week. For example, Wikipedia, Wikidata, templates, categories, etc. About which more in-depth information was provided. Then the participants discussed various projects that were going on in the wiki platforms. During the day, new participants joined the second meetings and were introduced to wiki projects, learned the important tools and began their work on Wikipedia. The topics of the Saturday workshops were provided in advance, and anyone could register according to their interests. Linguists. Wikimedia Armenia has collaborated with different universities at different times. Collaboration with Christoph State University has been underway since 2019 to ensure the involvement of students in teaching Wikipedia courses. The aim was to ask the capacity of linguists in translating quality articles of Armenian Wikipedia. The senior undergrads and grant students for the translation department spent their internship at Wikimedia Armenia. A two-month-long Wikipedia course was organized for them, during which they received all the necessary knowledge to work on Wikipedia and other wiki projects. In 2021, Linguists also joined the internship program in order to translate linguistic articles. Translations have been made from English, Russian, 
Korean and Chinese. The project was implemented three times, with a total of more than 200 students participating in it. The collaboration is ongoing and is planned to involve many more students who work on Wikipedia. Thanks for attention. Hi. Իմաց ես կներկայացնեմ իր դասթասների հաջողված փորձը եւ դրանց կիրառումը այն նախագծերում։ Wikimedia Հայաստանը բազմաթիվ իր դասթասներ իրականացնելուց հետո հասկացա որ սրանք կարևոր պրակտիկա են բոլոր նախագծերի համար։ Սանամը կրճանի նախաձեռնությամ Wikimedia Հայաստան կազմակերպություն եւ կենտրոնական բանկը այս տարի իրականացրեցին ֆինանսատոպեսական վիճամիս նախագիծը որի իմաստն այն էր որ պետք է մասնագիտները ուսանողներ կլինեն նաև աշխատակիցներ պետք է գրեն ֆինանսատոպեսական ոլորտի հոդվածներ վիկիպեդիայում սակայն ամենակարևոր գործոնն այն պետք է լիներ որ հոդվածները բարձակար լինի եւ հետևաբար դրանից առաջ պետք է դասընթացներ այդ դասընթացների փորձը կիրառվեց եւ մինչև մրցույթի սկսելը բոլոր մասնակիցները հանցան դասընթաց դասընթացի արդյունքում նրանք ձեռք բերեցին վիկիպեդիան խմբագրելու հմտություններ որ ասացին գիտելիքները խմբագրման հետ կապված այն ու հետո նոր սկսվեց մրցույթը որ միայն հոդվածներ ստացվեն այլ որակյալ հոդվածներ ստացվեն արդյունքում այնպես ստացվեց որ ծրագրին մասնակցեց 40 հոգի եւ 40 մասնագետներ սովորելուց հետո խմբագրման նրբությունների ծիրապետելուց հետո արդեն անցան խմբագրման եւ մրցույթի բուն փուլին այժմ դուք տեսնում եք մրցույթի փակման առողջության լուսանկարներ որտեղ սանամը կրճանը ներկայացրեց ծրագրերը եւ շարունակականության մասին խոսեց որը շատ կարեւոր է նմանատիպ թեմաների հետ կապված որովհետեւ կարողանանք համապարփակ ունենալ բոլոր հոդվածները եւ այստեղ մրցույթին մասնակցած երիտասարդներից եւ ավելի տարեց մասնակիցներից շատ էր կային եւ ստացան մրցանակներ առաջին տեղ երկրորդ տեղ երրորդ տեղ եւ նաեւ առանձին հոդվածները մրցանակներ ստացան բանկերի կողմից սահմանված եւ նաեւ կենտրոնական բանկի կողմից մրցանակ ստացավ հաղթողը երկրորդ եւ երրորդ տեղեր զբաղեցնող մասնակիցները նույնպես այս նկարում պատկերված է արդյունքները 2.135000 բայթ գրվել է Wiki Հայրեն Wikipedia-ի այս մրցույթի շրջանակներում 119-ը հոդված եւ ինչպես արդեն ասի 40 մասնակից ձախ ներքևի անկյունում նաեւ տեսնում եք ֆինանսական Wikiամիս մրցույթի տարբերանշանը մենք ուսով ենք որ այս մրցույթը շարունակական է լինելու եւ Wiki դասթասների հաջողված փորձը կիրառենք նաեւ հաջորդ մրցույթում եւ մնացած բոլոր նմանատիպ ծրագրերում քանի որ դրա նպաստում են հայերեն Wikipedia-ում որակյալ ոդվածների ավելացմանը եւ նաեւ մասնակիցների ավելի խորքային գիտելիքների զարգացմանը Պարություն Hi again I will be presenting the analytical part of teaching Wikipedia For over 8 years we have been teaching Wikipedia to different people with different backgrounds ages and professions and we have learned our lessons during this teaching process After each training or course we evaluated what processes were better which time frame was more suitable for our courses who are the main target groups or which are the best methodologies of conducting successful training all these are questions that were answered over the years and while experimenting with different approaches we found the best practices i would like to share some of our achievements and failures based on analytics and the lessons we have learned so let's start uh, from the target groups 
So here at Wikipedia, we have concentrated on teachers. But this does not mean that uh, we have left out other um, people. As the other speakers presented, we had other target groups as well. For example, students from medical universities, linguistic students, uh, economists, and people uh, working in the financial field. And the biggest group, however, um, is the teachers group because of their direct uh, influence on another one of our uh, beneficiaries, teenagers or school students. You can't involve all students in developing Wikipedia, but you can engage as many teachers as possible and they will work with future generations spreading the Wiki movement efficiently. Considering this analysis, uh, recently while choosing the target group for our teaching Wikipedia courses, we usually focus on teachers. Though based on the direction of certain projects, uh, people with various professions are also engaged. Coming to the age, uh, we usually welcome everyone who is interested in com contributing to Wikipedia regardless of age. Adults are the majority of many Wiki communities um, in the world, but in the case of Armenia, Wiki community um, has a greater uh, number of teenagers, uh, active school students who are contributing to Wikipedia. This is mainly because of Wiki clubs um, discussed earlier, which help to engage more and more uh, school students and teenagers. Um, in contributing to Wikipedia. So while choosing target groups uh, for teaching Wikipedia courses, age is not vital for us. One of the most important components uh, in our training courses is the time frame. How long should um, the training course last and which is the most optimal time? As the previous speakers discussed, the first teaching Wikipedia courses lasted for a week or so. However, as soon as we changed the format of um, these teaching courses from offline to online, we defined that teaching Wikipedia for a week is not enough because in the long run, it has despicable results as the participants uh, still have little practice of um, creating good articles in terms of at least education. So it was decided that uh, the new online courses should last for three months. The first training course, uh, which was specifically designed for teachers, was a pilot course to understand whether the three-month uh, period is corresponding to the needs of the participants. It turned out that three months is enough time to learn all major and important Wikipedia tools and become a good contributor. After the pilot course, our following courses also lasted three months. Uh, we tried different methods of teaching Wikipedia. At first, when the course uh, lasted a week, we just taught the basics. And um, while they created articles and questions arose, we addressed those questions. However, um, we felt the necessity uh, to have a kind of list uh, of topics and vital tools that all editors should learn during the course. Thus, after doing some research on others' experience of teaching Wikipedia, we came up with a list of topics that should be covered during the training courses. As we have Wiki trainers who usually teach Wikipedia to newcomers, our first step was to prepare them to work with a list of topics. We organized training for trainers and the most experienced editors of the Armenian Wiki community trained the trainers uh, to, and tried to improve their skills um, and introduce them to these new topics. Just to give you an insight into these topics, I will give uh, several examples um, of topics that were covered during the courses. Uh, for example, five pillars of Wikipedia, external links, references, uh, discussion pages, and so on. An uh, important part of the new methodology is that during Wikipedia training courses, the participants learn the most important uh, tools of editing Wikipedia for, um, for a month, um, as you can see 
at the bottom of this uh, page um, and then they continue creating um, articles and improving articles under the supervision uh, of a wiki trainer. The supervision of wiki trainer uh, is vital for the newcomers so that they create quality articles from the very beginning. As the three-month period um, is quite long to keep the participants uh, interested and engaged in editing Wikipedia and active um, in training courses, we decided to organize a week-long um, editathon specifically for the participants of these courses. Uh, the editor's approach was quite effective as the participants had the chance to take part uh, in a real editor and compete with each other at the same time. Moreover, this approach helps the newcomers to feel as a part of the bigger wiki community. Um, Coming to the topics, uh, after we created a list of topics that should be taught during Wikipedia training courses, we included a wiki, um, a Wikimedia Commons, Wiktionary, Wikisource, and uh, Wikidata as vital topics that um, the wiki trainer should introduce uh, to the participants. The idea was the following. After the first month of getting to know Wikipedia and the second month of intensively working on Wikipedia articles, the participants were introduced to Wikidata at the end of uh, the third uh, month. We thought that it would be a good idea for our editors to know how to use other uh, Wikimedia projects as well. However, after two training courses, it turned out that uh, many participants did not entirely understand how Wikidata works and usually made inappropriate uh, changes on Wikidata pages. Considering this uh, experience, we decided to remove the workshops on uh, Wikidata from teaching Wikipedia courses and limited ourselves uh, just by introducing other Wikimedia projects um, and their purpose uh, to the beginners. It is vital to mention that actually the topics and the method of teaching Wikipedia differs from trainer to trainer. Uh, some of them follow the um, sequence of topics uh, that we provided them. Um, for example, uh, first of all, they teach uh, how to create a new account. Then uh, they talk about the discussion pages. Um, then they introduce history, wiki community, five pillars of Wikipedia and so on. However, others prefer to teach uh, differently with different sequence. Even though the methods may uh, vary, the idea is the same to teach Wikipedia to beginners. Coming to the present, uh, I would like to talk a little bit about online and offline courses. Um, before the pandemic, our Wikipedia courses were organized um, offline. Some of them were uh, organized in our office and uh, the others were organized outside of our office um, in the framework of um, some kind of meeting or gathering. After the COVID-19 breakout, we changed the format of um, our Wikipedia courses and began conducting them uh, online via Zoom. Uh, I will present the advantages and disadvantages of offline and online training courses. The offline courses uh, provided in-person communication and a friendly environment, but the number of participants was limited usually to up to 50 people because of financial means. Meanwhile, the online uh, training courses enabled us uh, to engage more than 215 uh, people, and especially uh, those uh, who from far away uh, regions who did not have the chance to participate in offline training courses uh, because of the distance. The drawback uh, of online uh, teaching courses is that the participants cannot meet and feel the environment of being a part of the wiki community. 
Therefore, considering the pros and cons of online and offline training courses, we have decided that until the pandemic is continuing, we will conduct the teaching Wikipedia courses online, but after that, taking into account our previous and current experiences, uh, we will organize Wikipedia teaching courses both online and offline in the future to provide inclusiveness and feeling of belonging uh, to the Wiki community. Thank you. 2019, December, New Year, waiting for Santa. The doorbell rang and, oops, COVID-19. We live. Now we continue living with COVID-19, but we forget the life two years ago filled with fear, tiredness, when COVID-19 was new for us in our life. Okay, let's not speak about this. COVID-19 has changed and is changing the world. COVID-19 has changed everything, including Wikimedia programs. As Mihail has already mentioned, Wikipedia trainings used to be organized in our office, but now we organize Wikipedia trainings online. Uh, but all this has its advantages. Now participants from different regions of Armenia can participate in the trainings. Before COVID-19, when uh, the trainings used to be organized in our office, um, most of the participants were, were able to participate uh, with those, uh, for example, those who have children or who work and have no enough time um, and so on. They weren't able to join us to participate and they were disappointed. But now, but now they have this opportunity, so they can join our trainings, uh, sitting at home with their children and uh, in their workplace elsewhere. The next point, those not having computer skills get the opportunity to devote time and learn developed skills. Now, this point is not only about those who have no computer skills, but also for us, for all of us because now we are developing our computer technology skills. Uh, we work with it, we learn with it, now we are communicating with it, and we need all uh, the detailed skills of computer to do more and more. And those having no computer skills get this chance to learn and to do, develop more additional skills. Uh, the next point. New communication apps and tools are discovered. Uh, all the most of the communication apps and tools existed before COVID-19, uh, but as we, um, as most of us uh, didn't need them, didn't use them, uh, we had no idea how to do it, how to use them, and um, in general, we didn't use them. But now when um, we do it every day, uh, we, communicate, we need to communicate, we need to, just what we are doing right now, uh, we need to know and um, to use these tools. The next point, new tools for design, that pages, creativity, uh, not only communication apps and tools, but also design web pages, Photoshop, creativity. All this we need to um, to be able to have the opportunity to show our real emotions, uh, what we did before. Uh, for example, uh, before COVID-19, before this online version, everything, uh, events, programs, uh, not only Wikimedia programs, but also in general. Uh, everything, um, when everything was offline, it was much easier for um, people to communicate, to show their emotions, what they really uh, mean. But now uh, to do it, we need to uh, know these tools, these apps, we need to be able to use them and to be creative. And now about disadvantages. Uh, there are some disadvantages in all this, but I want to mention only two of them. 
New community members have no chance to know each other well. Uh, this point uh, is much uh, is more important, especially for um, adults, teenagers, for younger ones, because uh, they are bored, uh, they are more energetic, um, and they need more to communicate. Uh, just sitting at home or somewhere in front of computer watching the screen, they get bored. Uh, they need um, interactive games, they need uh, more to get acquainted, uh, but we do everything. Our trainers, uh, for example, before starting uh, our new Wikipedia training, our regular Wikipedia training, uh, the trainers organize a special meeting, and the aim of which is only to get acquainted. As they speak, maybe some of them organize this with quizzes or um, organize it with just um, talking and showing pictures uh, as they want, they are free. The next point, now it is more difficult to motivate. This point also I want to mention uh, and um, uh, especially for younger ones. Um, as I have already mentioned, the same, they need more to be motivated and not to be bored. Uh, now, I want to speak about special trainings that we organized during COVID-19. Uh, the first one I want to mention is uh, the special training organized for Wikipedia training, the trainers, Wikipedia trainers. Uh, this training was organized, uh, organized uh, to uh, for them to develop their skills, their Wikipedia skills. So due to this uh, program, our trainers had the chance to uh, exchange their knowledge, to present each other what they know, and the others um, had no idea. And the result was really a good one because now we have certifi certified uh, Wiki trainers. Uh, most of our Wikipedia trainers now are certified. Uh, the next one, um, for teachers, uh, we organized, uh, during uh, COVID-19, we organized uh, some Wikipedia um, training courses. And uh, one of them was only for teachers. Teachers from different uh, parts of Armenia, from different regions of uh, Armenia participated. Uh, some of them had the, uh, had the idea and um, goal uh, to open a new wiki club in their school, in their region, um, and to be the first in their region to motivate their students to teach with Wikipedia. Um, the next one, for representatives of economics and finance. Uh, this uh, one was special for people who wanted to uh, develop these topics, economic and finance topics. Uh, this was um, the beginning of a huge program that was a really a good one. Um, And uh, if I continue, there's so much to speak about, but I have to uh, end my speech. Uh, and in uh, conclusion, I want to add that during this period, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, we managed to do our best. Uh, many articles are created, uh, many topics um, have been developed and are being developed um, at this period. And due to Wikipedia trainings, uh, a lot of new members, teachers, and not only teachers, um, people from different um, of different professions uh, have joined our community. Uh, so, and I also to uh, I also want to add that uh, we are one of the examples, one of the best best examples and proofs that uh, the life um, hasn't stopped and COVID-19 um, doesn't mean the end of the world. Uh, thank you. Well, thank you. That was, that was a great last sentence <laughs> of the presentation. Yeah, yes. Uh, it's uh, a little bit overlapped because maybe uh, so, 
part, uh, different uh, persons uh, yes. um, mm. prepared parts, but uh, um, uh, I, uh, I, um, um, I uh, d um, didn't participate in um, preparing. It was it was nice <laughs> by me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's nice to hear. Um, are you going to? Are you going to upload that video as well to to your Wikimedia Armenia channel? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, you know our channel. Yes, I was looking for it right now, but I I think it's a uh, yeah uh, online last, meeting special. Yes, last uh, um, presentation was uh, by me for uh, in, uh, for scientists. Uh, it was great. All wiki projects. Uh, I uh, I I was looking for scientists long uh, uh, time, but now it's uh, just started in uh, in uh, Eco um, Institute for uh, Automatic Problem, um, um, where I uh, am working mm -hmm. still. <laughs> okay. Well, well, thank you very much. Um, unfortunately, we're out of time, so... Yeah, um, yeah, it was long. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you would like to uh, ask questions, you can contact Susanna directly, uh, for example. 